Barua now in fourth place in the Premiership. And the boy from Brazil was still to arrive on Teesside. Gino was to make his entrance the very next morning. Escorted on the private jet by Borough's chief executive, Keith Lamb. And we were there too Good to bring morning. you these exclusive How pictures. Good morning. How are you? Welcome to Teesside Airport, Ron dear. You are to put this on to keep you warm. And here's some T-shirts. Gianni. For your children and your family. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. over there. Oh, okay. 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 24 hours later, it was the public's turn to pay homage to their new hero. For a early to get down to the riverside. An incredible crowd, around 5,000 people turned up, and they were well entertained. Janino had never seen anything like it. Morning, gents. Uh, well, as, as far as I'm concerned, you know, I look about this room um, and I can see what interest it has created. Uh, bringing Juninho to Middlesbrough. Um, I think uh, there's not one sort of person missing from the media world today. Um, and that shows um, what charisma Juninho has brought to our football club. Um, I believe that the lad will enjoy his football with us. Uh, we try to pass the ball, which will suit his game. Uh, people talking, you know, in this country about him settling in uh, to the English environment. But um, I know he's a tough character. He wants to try and be the best player in the world. Um, and I'm sure he'll work hard and he'll try everything um, within himself to try and achieve that. Can I ask one more question? Does he know how cold it gets in Middlesbrough in January? He doesn't think that uh, in England it could be that uh, terrible, you know, different from any, uh, you know, it's not uh, Siberia. But, uh, no. he said, he said, he said, he said, we are, we are at Middlesbrough, we're not on the North Pole. He said, he also, he also said that everybody's been asked asking this question to him a lot, so he's expecting a moment. <laughs> 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 he's not getting a club car, he's getting a snowplow. They <laughs> 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 laid great foundations at the club here, but now you've brought in Eugenio. Do you feel this is a real spot that could make the club take off? Yeah, I mean, we, we're doing well uh, before the arrival of Giannino. He's, just, he, he's come in and he's come in as uh, another member of the squad. We are constantly looking to improve the playing staff at the football club. Brian makes the decisions on that. He's been tracking Giannino uh, since the Umbro Cup, and I think maybe even before then. And it's all tribute to him and to Keith Lamb. They've spent a lot of time in Brazil. There's a lot of things that have happened that have gone unnoticed and, uh, and the press aren't aware of, but it's been uh, a huge amount of work uh, by the two of them to deliver Giannino. Uh, we believe that in the style that Brian wants to play, that he can fit in, and that he can make a significant contribution, contribution to our further progress. Janino would have to wait until November before he was eligible to make his Borough debut. Meanwhile, his new teammates were doing pretty well without him.